I pray to you, O Lord, for a time of your favor. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, with your salvation that never fails. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We pray and ask the Lord now to help us to continue the pro- following the promises we made at the beginning of this season of Lent. We're approaching now Holy Week and we ask the Lord to help us now to be as prepared as we possibly can to celebrate this very important moment in the life of each and every one of us and ask the Lord for forgiveness for those times when we are not ready. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May our mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the range of you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, at the favorable time I will answer you. On the day of salvation I will help you. I have formed you and have appointed you as covenant of the people. I will restore the land and assign you the estate that lies waste. I will say to the prisoners, come out. To those who are in darkness, show yourselves. On every roadway, they will graze, and each bare height shall be their pasture. They will never hunger or thirst. Scorching wind and sun shall never plague them, for he who pities them will lead them and guide them to spring of water. I will make a highway of all mountains, and the high road shall be banked up. Some are on their way from afar, others from the north and the west, others from the land of Sinim. Shout for joy, your heavens exult, you earth. You mountains break into happy cries, for the Lord consoles his people and takes pity on those who are afflicted. For Zion was saying, the Lord has abandoned me, the Lord has forgotten me. Does a woman forgot her baby at the breast, or fail to cherish the son of her womb? Yet, even if this forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. 
The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Please stand for the gospel. Glory and praise to you. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> the reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, My father goes on working, and so do I. But the only, that only made the Jews even more intent on killing him, because not content with breaking the Sabbath, he spoke of God as his own father, and so made himself God's equal. To this accusation, Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, the son cannot do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees the father doing. And whatever the father does, the son does too. For the father loves the son and shows him everything he does himself. And he will show me even greater things than these, works that will astonish you. Thus, as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to anyone he chooses. For the Father judges no one. He has entrusted all judgments to his Son. So that all may honor the Son as they honor the Father. Whoever refuses honor to the Son refuses honor to the Father who sent him. I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life without being brought to judgment. He has been passed from death to life. I tell you most solemnly, the hour will come. In fact, it is here already. When the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and all who hear it will live. For the Father, who is the source of life, has made the Son the source of life. And because he is the Son of Man, has appointed him supreme judge. Do not be surprised at this, for the hour is coming when the dead will leave their graves at the sound of his voice. Those who did good will rise again to life, and those who did evil to condemnation. I can do nothing by myself. I can only judge as I am told to judge. And my judging is just, because my aim is to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus is explaining to his disciples 
of the role that he has with his father. That whatever his father does, Jesus follows and does it himself. And the father leaves his son to do these things. And Jesus passes on what he has learned to his disciples in order that they too will do what the Father and Jesus wants. But of course, they have problems at times. Peter questioning Jesus at times. Thomas having doubts about Jesus. Judas, of course, handing him over to the priests and the scribes to be crucified. But they still realize his role. And they follow Jesus' words to the best of their abilities, especially after his resurrection and ascension into, God, into heaven. And what they do has been handed down to us. And it's for all of us to do all we can to follow the words of Christ the words of his father so that each and every one of us will try our best so that we can be with him in the kingdom of heaven so let us pray that we'll have the wisdom the courage and the love of being a true follower of, Je of Jesus through listening to his word. And so we stand now for our prayers. The Lord cares for us as a mother tends the child at her breast. As his sons and daughters, we stand before him. And we pray for the repose of the soul of Alfredo Montero, for whom we're offering this Mass. He's the father of Dina. And Dina, of course, today tells me she's 25 years old. I won't tell you it's her birthday, but that's, I find that a bit odd when I know her children are all in their 20s. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for those children who are mistreated or abandoned by their parents. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for the gift of prayer that we may learn to praise God from our hearts and turn to him in our needs. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for the judges that in their decisions they may show forth fairness and justice and may promote the dignity of the human person. Lord, in your mercy, we pray in thanksgiving for Shella Giardiano, whom we've been asked to pray for. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, too, for a deeper knowledge that without God we can accomplish nothing of value. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all our young people, many of whom are preparing themselves for their major examinations that the Holy Spirit will guide and help them. Lord, in your mercy. Remember and 
and pray for all our sick. <coughs> we keep Colin Smith in our prayers. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary now to pray with us and for us as we say together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Father, you know all our needs, even before we make our requests to you. Listen to our prayers and grant all we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread, we offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed ye, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquity. My friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away all what is old in us and increase in us the grace of salvation and newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. <coughs> For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds. And bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty down. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, (coughs) Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, to celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Michael and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Receive his command and form by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace
of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spiritual communion for those who've joined us online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things. and We desire to receive into our souls. And since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you've already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. God did not send his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him.
May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow on the heavenly, heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. We pray for God's blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, for doing what is good in this world, they may reach you the highest good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thank you very much and have a nice day. And if anybody can stay behind and help with the cleaning, we'd appreciate it very much.